Welcome back, everybody. What in the glitches is this? The new character, USA Agent, is out. But I have glitched up the wazoo. I should not be seeing this Jeff. I should be seeing the regular Jeff. I should be seeing this Mirage. Like, there are two random cards in this one. What? There should be two randoms because of Mirage. But I don't have Jeff at all. Like, this Mirage is super cool, though. But I might like another one more, but it... I mean, it's really awesome. Now, Agent 13, ongoing. Four, five, and six cost cards here have minus three power. That is brutal. You could have Mystique take that power, too. Really freaking cool. I like it. Victor Faro. Uh, I can show you. It's so glitched. Here's what he normally looks like. This is normal him. That was the fancy him if you get two of him. Still no... Still no Hope Summer's in sight. I'm still waiting on that. So I wonder what Hope Summer's ultimate art is. It might be Incendicool. I don't have enough to get, her get that and that if I wanted to. Ultimate art I don't recommend though. You should save it for more characters probably. And I'm just playing this one casual this season because Samurai Jack is going to go away at the end. But... Also, I'm just not that into this season. But I will hop back in, and then I want to show you these store deals. The Stasler deal. It's mutant related. Wild, from Wild Blue. It's very freaking neat. Really like the art. Super cool. It's a little on the pricey. If it was five bucks, it'd be pretty good. I don't, I don't spend money on this game, but that's up to you guys. How you want to spend your money. This also came out... This one seems, yeah, this one, see how this one gets 2,500 gold for 25? Yeah, this one is technically cost effective. And there's finally the Guardians of the Galaxy title. Don't know why that took so long to get in here. The anime variants are cool. It's not my favorite kind of anime art, but Aqua did pretty dang good. It's an unspoken thing with those two. Hidden Galaxy Village. This plus Ultra Anthem. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Would be. Extreme or Brutal. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pass on USA Agent just because I'm saving for mutants, although I should probably try to get Jeffy the Land Shark, but I'm not gonna bother with that one. And there is patch notes too. I'm tempted to quit the game and go back in just to show you the guys that non glitch version of the screen. Maybe I'll do that. Let me just read the patch notes of the loads. Yeah, let's queue it back up. Well, let's just read some patch notes. Although this game loads extremely quickly, but... Okay, here's the April 4th patch notes. It's like April 9th-ish right now, at least at the time of my recording of this. Uh, these slip by me. Okay, we're back in the game. You guys can actually see it, probably. Did it fix? No, it didn't fix. Oh my goodness, is this legitimately broken? Let me know if this is broken for you guys. This should show... Uh, base art of USA Agent. The down below should be the other one. And then either Mirage or Jeff should be here. And or a random one, because I have Mirage, so like... No, no, yeah, this Mirage should be here, and then a random, probably one of these should be there. And then regular Jeff should be here, and then down here should be other Jeff, and then the two randoms at the end. What in the world is going on with that? Let me know if you guys have that error. I am, this is PC version. What happens if I switch it off of it? Can you do that without restarting? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't care that much, but just let me know. I want this to be quick. I don't want to be too ridiculous, because these passions take a bit. We've got a solid handful of high-impact changes to the metagame coming this OTA and our next patch. Pull out your cauldrons. It's time, Debaru. Thanos, at the start of the game, shuffle the six infinity stones into your deck. Six ten. Starts in your opening hand and shuffles six infinity stones into your deck. 
Wait, so now you always have Thanos? Whoa! I mean, it makes sense, though. Given the consistent and dominant performance of Thanos, additional changes were inevitable. Please just work well. This is the first inevitable. I am inevitable. I cannot do that. That actor is such a legend. Um, this is the first stage of a larger range of adjustments we're going to make to the Thanos and Infinity Stones package. Our goal is to focus more heavily on the Mad Titan with the expectation that narrowing the overall flexibility of Thanos decks will reduce how often these decks take heavy advantage of powerful new cards aimed at other strategies. This may be more, uh, maybe a more damaging change than you expect to the current builds. As Thanos has always, almost always, claimed, claimed the highest win rate in the game when not drawn. Yeah, his, it's crazy. I've used the deck itself, although my deck liked to get Thanos. But I also had contingencies when you didn't, and it's just crazy great. These stones are overpowered as frick. Like, I can't even believe they even think these are remotely fair. But let's see, they're, they're changing them. Time Stone. Old, 1-1, one, one. on reveal, draw a card and give it minus one cost. New, on reveal, give Thanos minus one cost next turn. Draw a card. Interesting, they want you to do the, to do the time gem last now. Depending on if you're using magic or whatever, you're making it so cheaper. We are pursuing changes to more than one of the stones, but because we're not ready to execute on those just yet, we're taking an even heavier hand with the time stone for now. Our last change also did very little to, to the actual win rate, no, no joke Sherlock, of the card, and we'd rather not miss again. Oh, you're absolutely gonna miss again. <laughs> it's possible, although, although this is much better. This is much better. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's still a 1-1 one, one for a draw card, which is absurdly powerful. It's still probably overpowered, this card. Also, it's making a 6 cost cheaper, which is insanely powerful. That means you can play this like a turn 4 and turn 5 drop then. Also, what? It still seems extremely overpowered. Um, when these get changed more, I may hop in and play, play my Thanos deck. Um, it's possible we'll return some strength in the future as other stones change. But we intend to keep the focus on Thanos as we discussed above. Just like Thanos is just a giant can of worms for this game. They just can't understand that these gems are broken. Like they just can't. They can't understand it. Oh shit, normally I check Thanos actually. This game might just take longer, but I don't I really don't care. Um, also, you can see all about Agent USA in the... No, not make a deck. I have a freaking deck. Where is he? What is it named that one? I don't like... No? How did I name that deck? Oh, Penal Strong, of course. Here he is. Starts in the opening hand and shuffles the six infinity stones into your deck. That is crazy good. You just get a guaranteed six cost? It's crazy. Although it's also not getting you the other cards that you want, which is why they did that. So you get the it's a lower chance of getting the gems. Okay, Meek, I don't have Meek. 1-1, one, one. when you discard a card, this game's plus one power and can move next turn. Change, 1-1-0. One, one, yeah, they're nerfing the- wow, they're nerfing the discard move. The discard move, it seemed really powerful. We just did Apocalypse slightly in the last batch. It toned tone down discard decks a little. And it had the desired effect on Apocalypse. However, Meek, wa Meek has since surged out in front on the back of a previous adjustment. And has by far the best win rate in these decks now. That's- Especially concerning for a one cost card because we measure win rate when drawn and turn one is the least common turn on which to draw a card, ignoring limbo. This kind of performance in spite of theoretically being much less effective to draw on turns four, five, and six is strongly is a, 
is a strong indicator we should remove some power or increase the cost. I prefer the former, so they took some power away. Crossbones. You can only play this at locations where you are winning. Crossbones change. 410. They make crossbones too stronger? Wait, what? Wait, I was just in that deck. Yeah, oh, that's right. I do remember seeing that. Yeah, he's 410 now. Cool. There's... Yeah, Coles. Yeah, he used to take it on call. There's been a lot of debate around which downside is stronger or weaker between Crossbones and, and Cole Obsidian. Both these cards are probably overpowered. We've decided to let you all settle it in the streets. Either way, this is probably Cole's game to lose. Just because there are multiple good decks where Call already shines, but it'll be fun finding out. Plus, we'd like to add a little mo bit more support for Scar. Oh, the strong cards. That's why they don't want to lower. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, is it 10 or more power for Scar? I'm guessing it is. Sabretooth. Now, this is what it's all about. This is the main reason why I'm showing you guys this. Sabretooth. When this is destroyed, return to your hand. Zero cost. Three to three, five. Oh, my goodness. They actually buffed the flippin' mutants. They did. Three, five. Wasn't he originally three, five? He might have been. I'm not sure. But yes, they actually buffed Sabretooth. That's what I'm talking about for my Meet and Destroy deck. Very nice. Because yeah, Discard was quite powerful against it. And it would just lose to the other Discard decks. And like, almost no one was playing Sabretooth but me. So that's freaking awesome to see. Mutant support. Oh yeah, I want, the, I want this special music to play. Here we go. Mini are saying 3-5 is the new 3-4. And they... And they may be onto something. Yeah, it's called power creep in your game. Lower all the power to restore the game to its proper balance. Oh my goodness, this game, this game makers, they don't know how. We've been fairly happy with how many of these 3-5s are working out. And we expect to make more changes over time to balance out the range of power among our lower cost cards as the game grows deeper. Although I will give them this. 3-5 sounds way better than 3-4. Just from an English standpoint. 3-5 is like, yeah. 3-4 is like, ugh. It's probably because you have um, odd to odd number. Odd to prime is a little odd, but... But anyway, that's he's not the big issue here. Although he's a bit of an issue because of Noel, but... And death. Uh, and we expect to make more changes over time to balance out the range of power among our lower cost cards as the game grows deeper. Yeah, they just want everything to power creep upward. Okay, I don't know if that's really good for the game. Saber I highly, highly suspect it is not. Sabretooth is fairly innocuous to Black Swan as a villain card, with no effect unless you lean into it during deck building. But destroy based decks are also very competitive when it comes to exactly which 12 cards to make the cut. Yeah. So yeah, he's not making the cut, which he doesn't in almost all the other decks. It was so, like, there's the longest time in the game that I couldn't find any other Sabretooth player. Like, till they buffed him, I think. I think they, they did something with him that he was better to play. Now the downside, didn't that just make him not die to Lady Deathstrike? It did. It just made him not die to Lady Deathstrike. Oh no, I think this actually makes my deck worse. This actually makes my deck worse, though. Oh no, they didn't realize that. You just broke the synergy with Lady Deathstrike. Although, maybe that's intentional, too. But that's... Uh, oh no, no, she wouldn't have killed him anyway. It has to be lower than her. Yeah, destroy with less power. Okay, that means I buffed up Lady Deathstrike to kill her. So that still will have to happen. Um, which, which I could play Forge in this deck if I wanted to, but, but yeah, I'm not going to. It's because what other deck can Deadpool be in? And, and um, sorry, wrong deck. Yeah, and freaking X-23. Not really. There kind of is no other deck. Let's get the good music back. Okay, and now... Angela. Actually, I have an Angela deck. I believe I actually showed it for a second. Oh, did I remove Angela? I may have removed Angela. Oh, no. Angela's still in here. So, Angela's back to 2-0. This is hilarious. They constantly change this card. Old, 2-2. Two, two, after you play a card here, plus 1 power. New, 2-0. After you play a card here, plus 2 power. Oh! Oh! It's changed, though. Angela's back. The 
The metagame has shifted to create more space for the small ball decks that leaned heavily on Angela to scale for late power, so we're adjusting in kind. Will this be enough to return decks like Silky Smooth to the metagame? Or do they need more help? Time will tell. Baxter building went from 3 to 4 because there's 4 Fantastic 4. Probably. That's what this is. I'm almost certain. Also, look at no one has liked this. No one has liked this at all. But I need to take you back to the game. Can you just show the game? Thank you. Oh my goodness, OBS. Ha 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 ha! Give the people what they want. Here, let's give them the cool music in the background. A oh, White Widow is so cool. That background art. I'm like 99% sure this is the Fantastic Four building. Yep. First appeared in Fantastic Four 3. Fantastic Four headquarters. Yeah. So yeah, they made that plus four because there's four Fantastic Four. It's sometimes five if you count She-Hulk and Spider-Man. Oh, let's see here. I think that just about does it. Oh, yeah, because I just showed off Angela. Anyway, thanks, thanks so much for watching. It's still glitched, isn't it? Let me just get patched real quick. It's still glitched. Anyway, here's the USA agent. It also looks like this. So I have to do this jankily now to show you guys it's glitched. Yeah, Hawkeye and Winter Soldier. No. No, it's Falcon and Winter Soldier. The Falcon and Winter Soldier show shows the USA agent. You'll learn all about him. And it's a rough story. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, see, then I think that that was originally like an M rated thing. I think they made a teen, but I would just still warn of M rated on it. But anyway, see you next time. Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier show has a minute. It's a great, great, great show. It did get censored to a certain degree. Uh, for just for the uh, brutality of the battle, as far as I know. But it deals with PTSD and other adult topics, so watch out for that. And see you next time. And that's just trauma. And stress and stuff. Anyway, see you next time. To put it at the very basic tone, in case you guys don't know what that word means. What the acronym means. Anyway, see you next time. It's post-traumatic stress disorder. See ya. Later. Have a great one. And you're an absolute legend for watching a video this long. And I think I'm going to end it with freaking Dazzler. Because that is well, I mean, she's Dazzler. <laughs> see you next time. I don't advise getting these, but spending money on the game. Like, it's still... So messed up, but you guys can do what you want. You guys do. Anyone who does pay in the game does help keep the server up, which is greatly appreciated. Like, sub, subscribe, comment, and uh, check the description. Plethora of information at the very bottom is the best way to help out the channel. And I do have other playlists and stuff on my channel. See you next time. You can pause, do that now, check them out. There are hundreds of Snap videos. Later, including some red, um, in case you didn't see that, Red Hulk videos that are doing quite well. Anyway, for relatively to me, anyway. Later.